Hello everybody, Exotic Realm here, and welcome back to some more survival games on MCSG. And today we're playing on the map of Par 72. I actually do have a very oh no, uh, when you know your life is uh is going downhill. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but anyways, I do have a topic for this video, and that topic is actually about um, it's actually something really interesting that I um, kind of I guess I used to I did an essay on this for math class, but it's pretty much about um the chaos theory. And if you guys do not know what the chaos theory is, it's pretty much the idea that, um, like any little change you do, no matter how small, has a huge impact on the future. And it's actually a really, really interesting topic to, uh, touch on because, like, as, since we all, you know, we're, like, in the online community, right? Um, we all got here somehow, some way. I mean, like, I guess it's. Hold on. Okay, this guy's backing off. So pretty much the um, the chaos theory is kind of an idea where everything you do has like a huge impact on the uh, the world. So it's kind of I don't know if you guys have heard of like the the butterfly effect where a butterfly flaps its wings on one side of the earth and then like on the other side of the earth there's like an earthquake. Obviously that's like an exaggeration, but that's like a general idea of what it is, where anything you do has a huge impact on the future, like years down the road. Um. So for example, I guess I'll talk about how I entered this community, right? And me being in the Minecraft community has definitely like literally changed my life. Like my life would be completely different if I was never in this community at all. But how did I get into this community? It's because I invited Pepe12 over, my friend Daniel. I invited him one time over, I think it was like four, three or four years ago, something like that. And because I invited him over, he introduced me to Minecraft. And because of that, I now do YouTube, I have all my great friends I met online. Everything that has happened up to this date regarding regarding the uh, the Minecraft community, all my friends, my YouTube, just playing in general, is all due to the fact that I invited Daniel over that one day and he introduced me to Minecraft. And that's just like the little thing that happened. Like it wasn't even a big deal inviting him over. Like, for example, right? Let's say I didn't invite him over that day and I don't know, I was just didn't really feel like talking with him and I just just didn't invite him over and he never came and I never knew about Minecraft honestly my life I don't even know how my life would be right now like it would be so much different I wouldn't have any of my friends like if I just never heard of Minecraft at all I would never have my friend never <laughs> cannot speak I never have any of my friends would never have started YouTube I don't even know what I would be doing with my life right now at this point like and it's honestly crazy to think how all the events that have happened up to this point is because of something that happened way back, right? So for example, we'll take Hitler for example, okay? Um, obviously he's like a really big figure in history for what he did, um, but let's just say that the day that Hitler's parents met, they didn't meet, maybe one of them was sick or something, right? And so Hitler's parents never met, and because of that, Hitler was never born, and all the events that have happened after that, you know, like the Jews, the concentration camps, none of that was a thing. Imagine just how different everything would be. And that's just like one example. Just, it's crazy to know how everything that you, did this guy actually jumped down? Okay, he gapped, so yeah. He's, he's gonna wait a little bit, or I, I need some open area, because I'm, I'm a sweat and I don't want to, uh, I don't want to lose this fight. So let's just, uh, go here. So yeah, it's just that it's crazy to think about how everything you do will have will have like a huge effect on the future. So for example, okay, I'll give you guys another example. Let's take that guy for example, the guy I just killed. Let's just say he was having a really really bad day today, and he just wanted to you know play some MCSG and have fun, but I just killed him, and he got really upset. And let's just say he just he was just really, really upset today, and because I killed him. He just feels really down. Let's just say he went and like committed suicide. Obviously, that's not that's a really serious thing, and that's probably not gonna happen. But let's just say he did, okay? He committed suicide because you know he was just way too upset. And what if he was going to grow up to be a really, really big figure in history? Like maybe he was gonna grow up to be like the president of the United States one year. But now, because you know, I killed him and he was just really, really down the whole day, and because of that, he just decided to like kill himself. Obviously, you know, that's kind of an exaggeration, kind of a depressing example, 
So, yeah, I do apologize, but it, you guys get the idea of how it's just crazy. Every little thing you do will have an effect on the future. Just by watching this video right now and spending your time, you know, just watching this video, which I do appreciate, so thank you guys so much. But by watching this video right now and not doing something else that you would have been doing if you weren't watching this video, your future has already changed drastically. Like, it's just crazy to think. It's, honest, it's honestly wonderful how the world works and, you know, how God has designed everything to be. I honestly find it absolutely incredible. Apparently, there's a hacker. Everything that's happened up to this day in the world was because of the actions of everybody. Like, you know, if people did things differently, then the world would never be the same today. Oh, my aim. My aim is absolutely garbage. Get over here, though. I need to kill him. Because I want his chest plate. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. This topic is it's kind of a weird topic, and most I feel like most people who study this topic, um, <laughs> nice one, dude. <laughs> All right, the chaos theory ranges from little things to you know little things like littering on the floor. That piece of litter could affect a lot of things, or like squashing like a bee. That. That is actually kind of a big one as well because, you know, like years down the road, you never know what could happen. There was like an example I forgot. It was about like if you squash a bee, then like that bee won't be able to uh, make honey or whatever. And then the world is like, I, it was kind of, I kind of forgot the example, but it was like pretty much the general idea that everything you do has a huge effect on the world. And I honestly think it's a really, really interesting topic to talk about. So, I decided, you know, why not? And also, if this guy's hacking, I have no chance. So, if I lose this, I'm still gonna upload because... Yeah, because, I mean, if I die to a hacker, it's... I don't really count that as a loss, it's just whatever. So, yeah, but we are going to bow spam super hard, okay? Okay. If I can. Taco off, please. <laughs> Just in case he actually is hacking. Dude, what are you doing? Alright. I think he just blew him down. Oh! Oh, peace out. Peace out. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm dead. It's over. Oh no. Oh, good fight. <laughs> we got him somehow. Alright. Well, anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this survival games on MCSG. Hope you guys enjoyed this topic as well. I know it was like, it's like a really, really random topic, but. I just thought it was really, really interesting, and it's always kind of sparked my interest, just this, the whole chaos theory idea. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, please do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.